Water recreation is both fun and therapeutic. However, it involves inherent risks of injury and death. Before assembling your spa, please read all of the instructions and safety warnings in your owner's manual. The guidelines in our instruction manual do not replace the need to exercise common sense. Stay alert and take all precautions required for keeping everyone safe when using your spa. Continuous and competent adult supervision of children and the handicapped is required at all times. Always use layers of protection when using this product. To purchase Intex parts and accessories, or for questions about Intex products, visit our website at www.intexcorp.com. Thank you for purchasing an Intex spa. Your family will enjoy a new dimension of fun, sharing, and relaxation. As the owner of the spa, you need to be aware of the risks associated with this type of equipment. There is a risk of accidental drowning and extreme caution must be exercised to prevent unauthorized access by children. To avoid accidents, ensure that children cannot use the spa unless they are closely supervised at all times. There is a risk of hair and body suction entrapment, requiring special attention to proper use of the suction outlets and pump. There is also the risk of injury and electrical shock, requiring specific safety precautions, such as GFCI RCD protection, maintaining the proper distance from electrical appliances, etc. Read the manual carefully for full details on necessary precautions and to understand and avoid these risks. It is very important to follow all the warnings and safety guidelines. Please follow the instructions shown in this video and in the manual for proper installation and safe usage of your spa. Your Pure Spa Jet Massage may be set up outdoors or inside. However, it is important to determine ahead of time where to set up your spa since the spa cannot be moved once it is filled with water. If the spa is set up outside, check your local and state safety regulations. Your jet spa must be set up on a level area free of obstructions. The spa must be at least four meters from the electrical outlet. The spa control unit electrical cord must be able to reach a GFCI or RCD protected electrical outlet without using an extension cord. Follow the instructions in the manual to test the equipment using the GFCI or RCD buttons on the plug. Do not use the spa if the GFCI or RCD outlet is not functioning properly. Disconnect the power cord until the fault has been identified and corrected. GFCI RCD protected circuits must be tested before each use of the spa. When you have determined where to set up your spa, move the spa without dragging to your selected area and lay out all the parts to become familiar with the equipment. Inside the spa, unscrew the air valve cap, leaving the stem in the up position. Insert the other end of the inflation hose into the valve and turn it clockwise to lock it into position. 
Turn on the electric pump and inflate the tub for six to eight minutes. Turn off the electric pump before the tub has been fully inflated and move the inflation hose from the electric pump to the manual air pump. Continue to inflate the tub until it is firm but not hard to the touch. Never overinflate or use high pressure air. Disconnect the inflation hose from the spa. Attach the pressure gauge to the air valve in the spa wall to see if the spa tub has been properly inflated. The pressure gauge indicator should be in the green area. If overinflated, release some air by pressing the back end of the pressure gauge. If more air is needed, repeat previous steps. When the spa has been properly inflated, replace the spa air valve cap, giving it a turn to the right. Hand tighten only. Do not use excessive force. Inflate the spa cover. You may use either a manual or an electric pump. Inflate the cover until it is firm, but not hard to the touch. Disconnect the hose from the cover and close the cover air valve firmly. Move the control unit to the side of the spa with the inlet connectors marked A, B, and C. Remove the caps from the connectors in the spa wall. And check that the O-rings are in place. Attach the control unit to the spa wall by matching the A, B, and C connectors. Hand tighten the attached nuts securely. Never move the spa tub with the control unit attached as this will damage the connection fittings. Attach the filter cartridge housing assembly, items 12, 13, and 14, to the outlet grid marked A on the spa wall. Before filling the spa, ensure that the bottom drain caps are securely closed both inside and out. Fill the spa with fresh water from a garden hose. To between the minimum and maximum indicators on the inside of the spa wall. Never pour water hotter than 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit directly into the spa. It is recommended to fill the spa with lukewarm water for quick heating and to save energy. Plug the control unit into a GFCI RCD electrical outlet. Once plugged in, the control unit will display your water's temperature in Celsius. You may change the display to Fahrenheit by pressing the Celsius Fahrenheit button. Before heating the spa, set your target temperature. Operating temperatures range from 20 to 40 degrees Celsius, 68 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. We recommend you not set the temperature over 38 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Press the on-off button to turn on the spa. If the heater is on, you must turn it off. The heater must be off when setting or adjusting water temperature. To adjust the temperature up or down, Press and hold either of the temperature control arrows. The display will flash as you adjust the temperature. When you have reached your desired temperature, release the arrow button. Five seconds later, the display will stop flashing. You may press the flame button to activate the heating and filter systems. The red flame light and the green filter light will illuminate. The water will begin to heat up and the filtration system will begin working. Once the heater has been activated, do not adjust the temperature. Never adjust the temperature with the heater on. Initial heat up 
takes 12 to 16 hours. The flame light will change from red to green when the set temperature is reached and the heater will go into standby mode. The filtration system will continue to operate. If you want to turn off the filtration system, you must turn off the heater first. Press the flame button to turn off the heater and then the filter button to turn off the filter. The filtration system may be turned on at any time. It will automatically begin operation any time you activate the heater. When the spa is being used regularly, you may find it cost effective to keep the heater on at a moderate temperature between uses. To activate the jet massage system, press the water jet button. The green water jet icon will illuminate. After 30 minutes, the jets will automatically turn off. An LED code will flash if a problem is detected. It is advisable to become familiar with these codes. See the owner's manual for For entering the spa, measure the temperature of the water with an accurate thermometer since the tolerance of water regulating devices varies. The water in your spa should never exceed 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperatures between 38 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and 40 degrees Celsius are considered safe for healthy adults. Use lower temperatures for soaks of more than 10 minutes and for children. Never use the spa alone or allow others to use the spa alone. Pregnant and possibly pregnant women should consult a physician before using the spa. There is a high risk of fetal damage from excessive water temperatures during the early months of pregnancy. Use should not exceed 10 minutes and water temperatures should not exceed 38 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The use of alcohol, drugs, or medications may lead to unconsciousness and drowning. Persons using medications should consult a physician before using the spa, since some medications induce drowsiness. Obese persons and those with a history of heart disease, lower high blood pressure and circulation, and diabetes should consult a physician before use. Exit the spa immediately if you become uncomfortable, dizzy, or sleepy. Spa heat can cause hypothermia and unconsciousness. The use of alcohol, drugs, or medications can greatly increase the risk of hypothermia. Hyperthermia effects include failure to perceive heat, unawareness of the impending hazard, and the need to exit the spa. Maintaining the proper chemical balance in the spa is very important for spa life and safe water. Keep the spa pH level between 7.2 and 7.8, alkalinity between 80 and 120 ppm, and free chlorine between 2 and 4 ppm. We recommend that you test your water chemistry weekly. Use the included test strips. See the test strip package for instructions. Follow these guidelines when adding chemicals to your spa. Do not add chemicals when the spa is occupied. Add chemicals separately to the spa. You may activate the spa jets to help dissolve and distribute the chemicals. Use the included floating dispenser to add chlorine. Follow the chemical maker's instructions to avoid hazards. Always unplug the spa for servicing or maintenance. Refer to the maintenance section in the owner's manual for details. Change the cartridge filter every week and the water in your spa every two to three months. The built-in hard water treatment feature works automatically when the filtration pump is operating. If your spa model includes a built-in salt water system, see the owner's manual for instructions. When the spa is not being used, Always attach the cover and lock the buckles. A properly covered spa avoids potentially dangerous situations and keeps children out of the spa when supervision is not available. To secure the cover, pull all the buckle straps tight and lock the buckles with the provided key.
maintain a safe spa, and enjoy years of happy use.